thing with me is that I was very very hurt you know in my relationship with Michelle I knew how much I fucked up I knew that she didn't you know I didn't deserve someone like her I knew exactly how fucked up it was hence why I had to call it quits you know but at that time I was such a coward and I was too scared of being alone and single you know so when my relation when my relationship with michelle was reaching that breaking point when i was very sure that you know i'm gonna have to call it quit because this girl deserves somebody better i just started preparing my mind preparing myself preparing myself for what's to come you know i knew that i'm gonna be depressed i'm going to be miserable I didn't know how to cope with it you know so i started engaging more with my fans you know doing q and a's posting a lot more than usual you know so that fans can message me and i can speak to them and i can just keep myself very busy you know and then i put out i put out a song you know a music video this is this a long time ago about about a music video um and a lot of my fans were sending you know sending snaps of themselves dancing to the video a lot of my fans were sending snaps of themselves dancing to the video like oh yeah uncle uncle i think this this video i put out was called wash sherry or more it's a very very old song a very very old song you know a lot of my fans they they love this they love the song they love it they are sending me snaps of themselves dancing and then i saw one girl post a snap and she sent this to me i was looking at the girl like who is this girl who is this girl she looks, she looks kind of nice she's kind of nice kind of nice you know then the girl messaged me and said oh uncle i really like your stuff you know like you're very very funny like i think you prank all my college you know um but you're very funny like keep it up so i was wondering Who's, who's, who's this girl? Who's, this girl looks very pink. Who, who the fuck is this girl? Who is, who is she? And I was going through a very, very, you know, gradual breakup with Michelle. I was at that point where, like, I'm literally about to end it all with Michelle. I'm about to call it quit with Michelle, but I've not done it yet. And this was the moment where I noticed this nice mixed race girl. I was wondering, who's this girl? girl is a nice mixed race girl this was the moment where i noticed this new girl who just posted a snap of my video and she looks very very attractive so you know i, I didn't want to be ahead of myself here so i thought you know what let me try and chat to this girl so i messaged her i said yo like what, what's good like um what's your name and she said her name is jasmine I said, wow it's a nice name that's a nice name and then i then said oh um I get too many messages on snap on snapchat is it okay if i talk to you on whatsapp and she was like yeah yeah sure thing sure thing so i was like wow okay okay she, she didn't she didn't move long she didn't say um why do you want my number why do you want my number because most girls they'll be like why do you want my number why do you want my number why do you want my number why do you want why do you want my number but this girl just said no no yeah sure, yeah sure thing yeah fine yeah sure thing you know she gave me a number then we're talking on whatsapp talking on whatsapp and then I said I'm gonna I said I'll call you later on this evening if that's, if that's okay she said yeah yeah that's fine that's fine so automatically like the whole pressure and the whole heartbreak the whole you know stress and depression that was on my shoulders because of what I'm going through with Michelle kind of just like my mind was taken away from that 
during that period of time my mind was taken away from that from that you know stress and i was focused on this new girl that's very attractive and oh, let me let me get to know her cool so it's 7 p.m in the evening i'm literally watching the clock tick when i told the girl i'm gonna call you later this evening i told her that oh i'm at work let me call you later we'll, we'll talk more I was starting shit. I was in my bed just laying down. I wasn't at work. I wanted to give her the impression that I'm very busy. So I said, I'm gonna call you later this evening. When she said, yeah, that's fine. I was now waiting. I waited. I literally watched the clock tick every single minute. I watched it tick. You know? When it was evening time, I saw, I saw the sun went down. It's evening. I quickly called her. I was in bed, so I called her. I was like, oh, how are you doing? You all right? He said, oh my gosh, is that is that your real voice? Like, you, you sound a bit different, you know, from your videos. You sound a bit different from your videos. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my, you're so funny. Like, you, you prank all my, my fucking college. Like, it was fucking hilarious. Like, every, I was dying. Like, oh my gosh, you're, you're, you're funny, right? How do, you, how do you think of this stuff? Like, you know. So, we started talking, talking, talking. So, I asked her, oh, like, I noticed you're, you're mixed race. Like, what, what, what country are you from? And she said she's half... She's half British, half Nigerian. I said, what? You're Nigerian? She said, yeah, yeah, I'm Nigerian. I said, you're Nigerian? You know? Then we started talking. We started talking about food. She said she can cook. While I was talking to her, she said she was making jollof rice. I said, are you being serious? She said she was making jollof rice. She's cooking for the family. You know, she just came from work. You know, she's she's been very busy doing some coursework. Like... She sounded like a, like a, like an actual woman, like an actual like, uh, and because I was in a long relationship with Michelle for like over two years, I was so used to Michelle doing nothing with her life. I was so used to Michelle just being, and that's you know no dis- no disrespect to Michelle at all. She was a young student, cool, fair enough. But I was so used to the routine of you know me being the one that only does something with her life, and Michelle doing nothing. Michelle just being a student that just goes. To school comes back home and goes on facebook goes to school comes back home and goes on facebook and skypes me goes out to the shops you know for a change to buy chewing gum comes back to the house you know so slowly and gradually the way i saw michelle started changing like i started realizing all the all the things that made the relationship just go down the drain you know michelle did nothing with her life she just she had no drive no career interests no no passion for anything just she just a normal basic life like a normal a life that screams out i'm going to be a 95 uh, for for the rest of my life the everything about michelle just sounded like seven pound per hour job no disrespect to Michelle, with all due love and respect I have for her, everyone about Michelle just started, started to just, you know, started to become more clear to me that this is the reason, this, this is the thing that we're missing in Michelle's life. So as I was getting to know Jasmine, Jasmine said that, yeah, you know, she, 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 she cooks and, you know, she's a very good cook, um, she works, you know, I think she was working for um, a store, a, a very big store, I think it was... Um, she, was, she was working for Sports Direct and also working part-time for Claire's, you know. She was very busy. She was studying. She was doing coursework. She was, you know, learning her driving. She was very, very, like, you know, on the move. So me and this girl started talking, talking. I thought about myself. Now, from that first conversation of getting to know her, I looked at my phone says three hours it's my first time speaking to this girl and i was on the phone with her for three hours i didn't even know that three hours felt like five minutes i felt like every single minute of the conversation was true happiness to me she was so funny she made me laugh we had the exact same sense of humor the exact same sense of humor she was very very immature but immature in a very very attractive way like you know when somebody has immature humor where like they just laugh at very very silly things i'm the exact same we laugh at any random thing together from that phone call we stayed on the phone to the very very next morning i slept on the phone she slept on the phone the first time speaking to this girl 
we stayed on the phone together to, to, to the next morning next day we are facetiming i didn't show my face to her on facetime i didn't come on video it was only her coming on video so at this point she still she had no clue what i looked like she didn't know what i looked like at all and she didn't even ask she didn't say let me see your face she didn't say any of that we just carried on talking so it's like we're just connecting more with personality while just talking more with like we just connected more from vibes alone we spoke every single day every single day we spoke every single day you know and you know we're, we're always cracking jokes together always cracking jokes together before i post a video on youtube i will i will discuss it with her like what do you think of this video you know what should i change you know i will talk to her about my one-to-one -one interview i will do a one-to-one -one interview i will tell her about it i would you know she would she will, you know she would she will support me i don't know who this fucking girl is I, I i have no clue who she is you know so i called i was talking to her on the phone i asked her so where do you live like where where where, where exactly are you? where do you live like they said she lives in milton kings milton kings milton kings i've never really heard of that place before i checked google maps Mitchell Kings is quite far. It's quite far. And at the time, I wasn't even driving. At the time, I didn't even have my driving license. I didn't know how to drive at the time. At the time, I was, just, I was still getting trains like a waste man. Get, get, getting trains. You know, so I didn't know how to drive at the time. So I was thinking, wow, that's quite far, Mitchell Kings. But you know what? It's cool. It's cool. You know? Now, bear in mind that. I've not spoken to this girl to tell her that I like her or anything like that. I've not spoken to her to tell her that that you know we should be together in a relationship. I've not spoken to her to tell her we should be together in a relationship. I've not gone there at all. Yeah. She hasn't said that to me either. So at the moment we are talking as friends, as really good friends. I don't know who this girl is, but from the moment I spoke to her, we are talking like we've known each other for years, which was quite weird, and that's very rare to find. Every single day, I'll FaceTime her. I'll go to work in the morning. She will text me saying, how oh, um, have fun at work today. You know, wish you the best. And call me when you're on your break. When I'm on my break, I will call her. And she'll be on her break as well. We'll talk. She doesn't know what I look like. I haven't met her before. I don't know anything about her. She lives in Milton Keynes. As far as I know, she's just a random girl. And for some weird reason, from the first moment I called her, I've been on the phone with her every single day since then, non-stop. Cool. So, at this point in time, me and Michelle, we've not broken up yet, but we're just not talking at the moment. Like, we're not talking. So, I'm still together with Michelle in a relationship, but we have not broken up. We've just... I'm just trying to prepare myself on how I'm going to call it quits with her. It's very very trash it's very very fucked up i was still in a relationship with michelle i've not ended it with her yet but i'm speaking to this new girl called jasmine even though me and jasmine are just friends and just cool friends and i've not told her i like her she's not saying she likes me. we've not even spoken we don't even talk like that but we're just friends that talk every single day you know it, it was it was still wrong but cool so one day one weird day I called Jasmine, it was late in the night, you know, we were on FaceTime together and then I was like, you know, like let's just say the the obvious, which is when am I gonna see you, you know someone's gonna say it, I mean, come on, you know, someone's gonna say it if it's not me and then, you know, I was, and then she was like, yeah, she was gonna say it I was like, why didn't you say it then? She was like, I wanted you to say it first and I was like, oh, but I didn't want to say it first, I wanted you to say it first and she's like, oh i wanted you to say it first okay you guys get the points you know so it's like we're just laughing about this and you know giggling on the phone saying okay cool you know what let's let's link up you know and she was just she, she was laughing about the fact that she didn't know what i looked like and she was just like it's funny how we talk every single day 24 7 and i don't even know what you look like and you know you just wear a mask and it's so crazy how i'm very very close with you and you're literally like the closest friend i have right now and i, I just don't, i don't even know you but well but somehow i feel like i really know you i don't even know you you know it was, it was very funny cool so we agreed that okay she's gonna come and meet me she's gonna come to london rather than me come to milton Keynes. and cool so now the day came for her to come and meet me but i was looking at her picture like 
this girl is actually peng like she's actually peng like she's she's so fucking peng half nigerian half british mixed race she can cook she works she has passion for career she's got a career she's got education she's got everything you know she's low-key she lives off ends like she's not even bait she's just like i was so surprised like what the fuck like this is like too good to be true it's way too good to be true cool so i'm dressing up now dressing up now got a nice trim everything bought new clothes everything i've dressed up you know she's text me saying oh i've just i've just got on the on the train i'm on my way to london now my heart is beating like she's actually coming she's actually coming like i'm gonna see her for the first time she doesn't know what i look like cool so i'm on the train now to go to to, to king's cross king's cross station to go and meet her from there so i got to king's cross now now i'm fucking scared like i'm shooting bricks like i've never been so i've never been i've i've linked the bear girls before in the past but i've never been so fucking nervous in my life to meet a girl i don't know why i was nervous but i was nervous one because i'm going through a lot i'm, I'm about to end it with michelle i'm getting to know this jasmine i'm so attached to jasmine i talk to jasmine every single day non-stop like we facetime all the time like i've caught feelings for her she, like i don't even know if she knows that i like her i haven't told her i like her like I haven't told her anything, but we just we just we just talk constantly as friends. And I've caught feelings already. So I was just like, oh fuck, I've caught feelings. Cool. You know what it is what it is. Let me just wait for the girl. So I'm waiting now. So she, she I got a text. Pretty And she said, I'm here now, I'm in King's Cross. Where are you? At that point, I think I shot myself by accident. Like a piece of shit came out from my ass. I literally shot myself by accident cool and then she texts me back saying lol it's funny how i don't even know what you look like but I, I i'm sure i'm gonna i'm gonna when i see you i will know it's you cool so i just laughed i said okay whatever let's see so i was standing there waiting just chilling and then i saw some mixed race girl with glasses painting Ay! oh my gosh i swear i can't i'm not even gonna cap she was fucking peng like I was I had, I had a bit of fear in me that oh what what if she's a bit clapped like what if she's a bit like you know a bit clapped or whatever but I can't lie she was fucking peng fucking peng and obviously I had to look nice and that you get me I was looking all nice you know I can't remember I can't remember what I, what I wore on the day but I'm um, sure I was looking quite I was looking quite I think I wore some Adidas jumper and you know just you know, you know me you know keep it South London you know cool. She, she saw me she just started smiling straight away and she came to come and hug me she was like oh um hi like i knew it was you i told you i'll find you the wolf started laughing like we we're very very huggy with each other cool and she was like yeah where we going where we going where we going and i was like don't worry I'm, i've got somewhere we're going so we got on a train you know and then we went to stratford then we went to the go catching rally and she was like wow this is nice this is nice this is nice I think it was like a it was, it was like a race with at least thirty something drivers, and me and her were there as well, and it was so fun. I was just deep in it. Like I've been in so many relationships before, I've been on so many dates before, but something about this one, go karting. I've never done that before. Go karting with, with with a girl on on the on the first time you're seeing the girl. Go karting. You don't even know who the girl is, but. The way me and this girl bonded on that day, like we do so many laughs, so many jokes, so many banter, like we bust so many jokes. This girl is so fucking funny, bro. She's so fucking. She's a lot more funny than me. Like, so in my head, I just forced to myself, this is this is it. This is the missing puzzle all my fucking life. Someone that just that just brings out the joy in me. Someone who just someone who's so fucking funny. Like, someone who's just so funny. Me and this girl, this was the most adventurous day ever. Adventure, adventurous day ever. You know i was talking to her and i just said like what do you think 
about me and you and she looked at me and smiled like what do you mean i said what do you think about me and you like what do you see do you see what i see and then she was like um what do you see and i was like i want to know what you see first because i asked you and then she was like well i want to know what you see too and we just kept on going around because me and her me and her so we are so on the same page but so childish like that like we can just go around and around and around like uh, i want to see what you see you want to see what i see like we just we just worked together like we're so me and her were so funny together as a couple you know and then i just said to her that like i i think me and you will, will, will work well together in the relationship and she was like i was thinking the same thing as well but i didn't know what to say you know from that moment on we got together in a relationship someone that i don't know someone i've never met before someone that I, I i have no clue who she is or anything about her i only just started talking to her and from the first day i met her i got in a relationship with her so me and her got together in a relationship now when she went back to milton kings as soon as i got home as soon as i reached my house that's when i sent the paragraph to michelle to break up with Michelle now that was still very very like the most harsh and you know trash thing I've, I did based on the fact that Michelle was actually very genuine with me but I don't know so I ended it with Michelle and Michelle said what she had to say and I felt very hurt but based on the fact that I'm getting to know Jasmine, the pain from my breakup with Michelle, I didn't really feel it as much as I should have because I'm getting to know Jasmine. So cool. Me and Jasmine carried on talking, talking, talking. She was like, oh my gosh, today was so fun. Send me all the snaps, send me the snaps, save it to me, send it to me. We took so many pictures together. Like, we are moving like a couple that's been together for years. Do you know where that is? We are moving like a couple that's been together for years and years. So I got back home now. We are talking on FaceTime again, you know, every single day. Now we are talking like, it's no longer every night. It's now through the day. Until we agreed, you know what? Next weekend, let's meet up again cool and then she said she wants to come to london again i'm like all right all right all right okay all right all right i mean i was gonna come to milton Keynes, but all right all right all right cool so she came to london again but this time around she came to my house so i went to pick her up you know like and whenever i see her it's like because of the long distance like it's made it's added so much spice to the relationship like whenever i see her will cuddle i'll pick up and spin her around kiss her you know who come to my house now she asked me like when are your when are your parents back i said I'm not, I'm not i'm not sure i'm not sure i'm not sure when they are back i said why and she was like okay um let's go sainsbury's sorry what's going on let's go sainsbury's what are you talking about what do you mean she was like let's go sainsbury's she wants to go and buy some food stuff I said, are you being serious? He said, yeah. She wants to buy some food stuff. I said, for what? He said, she wants to cook. This girl took me to Sainsbury's. She did food shopping. She bought chicken, rice, you know, pepper, onions, like mixed veg. And she came home with me and she cooked fried rice and chicken for the family. My, I had a free, my, my house was free at the time. There was no one at home. But she she cooked food for everyone so that when everyone comes home there's food to eat this girl made fried rice it was so fucking delicious so my parents came back now my mom came back you know mom was like oh hello you know my stepdad too came home was like oh oh hello oh what's going on you know who's this girl and then my, you know jasmine was like oh hello auntie hello i'm jasmine oh, nice to meet you nice to meet you and the whole house was plenty of fried rice. The kitchen was so busy. Onions everywhere, chicken everywhere. You know, fried rice was all over the air. Like, I could see my, I could see my mom's face like, 
okay all right okay like who is this one who is that you know so when the food was ready jasmine brought the food she served my mom she served my mom's you know my stepdad you know she served everyone and like you know she sat in a living room talking with my parents like you know just bonding telling them about what she does like i was like wait like i've never ever actually seen someone i don't someone i barely even know someone i'm just i only just got with this person but this person has already marked her territory in my life this girl has already done so much thing in a ma- just in a matter of weeks this girl has already done more than any other girl has done for me this girl has already bonded with my family bonded with me this girl has already given me the best adventurous experience of my life you know every single moment i spend with this girl we are doing something very very fun we're ever going out for go karting we're cooking together we're going shopping together for food like everything was so adventurous i felt like i'm actually doing something for once in my life i thought like rather than going to random uh, a girl's house as young and staying there doing fuck all just chilling there and just watching fucking tv and just beating and piping and coming back home like i, I actually feel like i'm doing something like very adventurous like i'm actually falling in love deeper in love every single moment we share together you know and bear in mind this was the second time i've seen jasmine the second the second time i've seen jasmine like this is this is just too good way too good to be true it's like everything she does is like it's getting better and better and better so me and jasmine were bonding we bonded we ate spiders together she stayed too late you know and then i you know she went back to milton kings whenever she's going back to milton kings i swear it's always so sad like i feel so miserable like ah damn you clock damn you time oh damn you clock Cause time goes so quick times go so quick she'll come and spend the whole day with me but that whole day will literally feel like 10 minutes like you know cool so she went back to mk now and every single weekend we'll meet up every single weekend we'll meet up you know it was my birthday as well you know she came over for my birthday i started snapping i'll post it everywhere on snapchat so all my fans were just baffled like who's this who's this lighty who's this lighty like who's this like what happened to Michelle? What happened to Michelle? What's who's this lighty? A lot, a lot of my fans were kind of baffled and confused. Some of some of my fans were saying, "Yeah, she's peng, she's peng, she's peng." Some of my other fans were saying, "Where's Michelle? Like we want Michelle. Who's this? Who's this girl? Who's this lighty? Why she? Who's? Why is she begging it? Who is this girl? You know, cool. But me, I didn't really care. All the bottom line is that this girl is peng. Call it speed, it speed. The girl is peng. No cap. Everyone knows the girl. You can't chat shit. The girl is peng. go karting yeah we've been to the fun fair yeah all right all right okay cool you've come to my house to make fried rice um cook for my family yeah yeah we've done shopping together yeah yeah all right okay cool we've done everything let's do something let's 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 take it up a notch let's do something adventurous have you got any ideas babe and she looked at me and said let's go portugal oh oh i was like raw okay all right i didn't see that coming all right all right me and this girl we've only known each other for like it's barely even been three months it's barely even been three months or two months and we're already booking holidays to portugal cool so i booked the holiday to portugal bear in mind at that time at that time i've not been to any other country before I've only been to Nigeria and England. I've not been anywhere before. I've never traveled anywhere by myself before. I've never done that. I've only ever traveled with my family to Nigeria. I've not traveled out of the country with a girl or anything like that. So it was quite crazy because I was quite young as well. So now Jasmine on her side as well, like I don't think she had traveled by herself before as well. So we've booked the holiday now. The, the day has come i went to link up with her you know the, it, the 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 flight was very very 
the flight was very very early in the morning like 5 a.m 6 a.m flight cool so what we did is that we linked up i went to meet her um she went to meet me at, at the train station we went to gatwick travel lodge travel lodge in gatwick we stayed there the night you know we stayed up all night just chatting shits and play fighting and just watching movies you know we didn't even sleep at all when it got to 5 a.m we dressed up while vlogging every single thing vlogging every single thing you know it was it was so romantic very very romantic you know then we then went to the airports we had some breakfast there we got in the plane we were filming every single thing it was so beautiful my first holiday my first proper holiday my first time traveling alone with a girl like the relationship was it was it was just going so fast so fast and it felt so romantic and so affectionate and so beautiful it was going so fast and i was like wow this is so cute this is so cute we got to portugal now like the hotel was so beautiful we, we you know went jet skiing you know went um go-karting in, in the desert you know we were we went on so many activities we toured the city we went clubbing we got drunk like we were like those proper crazy couples that are ready to explore the whole world together me and her were on the same vibe it was so crazy we were on the same vibe on the same level of vibe same level of wave you know same level of everything humor it was just so perfect we just suited each other so much we loved each other we were so deeply in love you know everything was so beautiful until one day when we were in portugal and this is where everything came crashing down cool so now it's like the second to the last day we're in portugal we thought to ourselves you know what let's go clubbing again we went clubbing we got drunk like you know me and her are very loud when we are drunk we just make silly noises you know we vlogged every single thing so it was like 2 a.m i'm gone i'm just waved i've drank so much you know she's not as drunk as me but i'm, I'm very drunk I'm, I'm just i'm sitting down there in the club chilling i've snapped every single thing and then my phone made one noise what's going on here it was snapchat so okay i opened it somebody snapped me and said hey yo uncle rofu like i've got so much respect for you yeah i've got so much love for you i respect your content and i've been watching you for years and i would never ever say anything to hurt you or harm you or against you but it's very important that i let you know that the girl you're with and the girl you're in a relationship with is a skit and she's and she's so popular and ends everyone knows that she's a skit i swear i was drunk but at that moment all the alcohol in my brain just dried up all the alcohol that was in my brain dried up just dried up like expired like expired drink just dried up like this and and trust me i was fully awake i was like wait what what are you talking about the guy said listen scroll up in our chat scroll up so i scrolled up i scrolled up i was scrolling up in the chat i, I scrolled all the way up the guy said look at how much support i've been showing you for all these years why would i want why would i randomly say something that's wrong or, or lie to you you can see that i support you i'm always there i'm always supporting you because I'm a, I'm a big fan of what you do but i'm just being real with you i live in milton Keynes. i know that girl she's a jersey now at that point in time i thought to myself like fuck you go fuck yourself i don't give a fuck what you say like don't ever in your life try and message me and try and chat shit to me the guy was just like lol you know what 
give your girl the Bible, a holy Bible, and tell her that if she's not scared, she should swear on the holy Bible. And if she does that, I will block you. We'll just go our separate ways. So now, at this point in time, my, 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 my mind is fucked because I'm drunk as well. I'm pissed off. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I said, how do you know this girl? I asked him, how do you know this girl? And then the, the boy said, oh, Jasmine, like, she, she beat one of my boys. She gave him blows on a bus. Like, I said, what? Like, what are you talking about like as i got i got so pissed off so i started cursing the boy i said fuck you like you're 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 just you're just trying shit like come on come come off the your 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 party like like what are you talking about so i got pissed off so that that, that pissed that pissed off my mood so jasmine was looking at me like what's wrong why are you upset i said don't worry like some guy pissed me off some guy pissed me off let's go back to the hotel let's go back to the hotel cool we're back to the hotel now i was moving a bit moody jasmine said what's wrong with you like so I just told Jasmine like, oh, some guy, some guy said this about you. Some guy said that. I showed Jasmine the message, and Jasmine just said, Jasmine just went quiet, and she didn't say anything. So what was going on? Are you not gonna say anything about? Jasmine was like, oh, what? Well, do you believe that? Do Do you believe that? Like, are you actually are you actually being serious right now? Do you actually believe that? So now at this point I'm starting to get a bit suspicious. So I said to Jasmine, okay, you know what? Like, I don't believe it, but can you swear on your life? And can you swear on the Bi- on the Holy Bible that this guy is chatting shit? Jasmine looked at me and said, I-, I don't swear on the Holy Bible. So now at this point, now I've lost the plot now. Now, now I'm thinking of what the guy said. I'm thinking, wait, but it's not that deep. I swear on the Holy Bible so we can get this over and done with. Now, Jasmine was mad at me for even asking her to swear on the Holy Bible. I said, I'm not, I don't know who this fucking guy is. The guy knows your fucking name. The guy knows so much about you. He knows you from Milton Keynes. So he knows, he must know you. You can't just make up this shit on the spot. I don't, it doesn't, doesn't make any sense. So, is this, what is, is, is this guy, is this, is, is there any, is there any, is there any bit of truth? And what this guy is saying now jasmine started crying why the fuck are you crying what's what what did you cry about i'm baffled i'm actually i'm i'm baffled why are you crying jasmine was crying and she was like oh uh people pe- pe- people people just love to hate on me and people like to spread rumors on my name everyone that knows me knows that people spread rumors about me it's up to you if you want to believe it or not so now, I went on Snapchat to this boy. I snapped him again. I said, "Yo, like, so what? What else do you know about Jasmine?" The boy was like, "I bet she didn't swear on the Holy Bible, right?" So now this guy is fucking with my head now. Like, I don't even know who's lying. Is this guy telling the truth? Is Jasmine actually a sketch, or is Jasmine just... I, don't, I, I couldn't tell. Jasmine didn't want to swear on the Bible and she was crying. And this guy was telling me that Jasmine is a sketch and she wouldn't swear on the Bible. So now, the holiday was ruined at that point. At that point in time, the holiday was ruined. So now, it was many one day to go. So I, I thought, you know what, fuck it. I went to bed, I went to sleep. Cool. Next day, it was bare moody. I was bare moody. But I thought, you know what, fuck it. Like... Let's just, let's just enjoy the holiday. Let's try and do something fun. Let me just distract myself from all of this. Cool. But as much as I tried to focus on something else, as much as I tried to distract myself, it was still in the back of my mind, like what this guy said on Snapchat. Cool. So we came back to London now. We're back in London. Everything has changed in the relationship. Relationship feels very, very different. Because now... I'm already in love with Jasmine. I'm already so invested in the relationship. And, you know, I got in the relationship so fast without doing any research about this girl. I got in the relationship so fast to the point that I didn't bother finding out about who this girl is. So now I'm trying to do my homework to find out who she is. You know, um, on Snapchat, people are sna- I'm opening snaps, opening snaps, opening old snaps. 
people are saying you're like it was a slack she's a slack she's a slack left right center left right center everyone's saying she's a slack she's a slack she's a slack so now i'm kind of like scared that there might be some truth to this but i don't want to accept it so i'm just trying to know jasmine for who she is i'm trying to just give her the benefit of the doubt and just sort of respect her for who she is 